when I'm in a boat, I don't want to see houses. I don't. I want to see the na nature. You know, that's what you do. You get out, you want to see nature. Now, you don't want to see painted houses. But we have a problem. We have an ego problem. Okay? We all got to show off what we got. That's what it's all about. We build this big house on the water, and we, we got this ego problem. It says, I got to show that off. I show it by what I got, you know? And I got to be able to see out. We, there's nothing deader to me than a seawall with no, no vegetation. It's a dead zone. You know, there's no life. There's no, nothing living there. And so when you have your mangroves, you, you're actually you're, you're putting life back into the system. It's, it's something alive. It's not dead anymore. Oh, yeah, I mean, the, with the red mangroves, they grow down into the water, uh, and the oysters grow on the roots, and, and then you have all the fish. Every place, and that's how why well, I started the artificial reefs with it. I, I had crab traps and I stacked them up, and in between these crab traps that went out, there was this open area where they'd be filled with little silver perch and little baby snook and sheephead, and some fish would uh, feed on the reefs, the, ar the, <coughs> the crab traps with oysters on them, and then some fish would just feed off the bottom sediment. And I watched the oysters when they uh, they may be spawning, okay, and they'll little puffs of smoke will come out, and you'll see the little sailfin mollies come in and just gobble all that up, you know, and and so you, you realize that you know it all starts off with small things, creatures, and, and, and the bigger creatures eat the small ones <laughs> and keeps going up the chain, and so if you don't have any habitat, then you don't have uh, the beginning of the food chain, uh, and, and and then habitat that they can be protected in because they're always looking for some place that's why all the little fish in the shoreline are so important is that they're looking for a place to hide because they ain't got a place to hide somebody's gonna eat them eat that. so they, they to be able to forage and, and get and get protection so it's it's a, a real education being on the water and having all the environment of, of vegetation. It's not educational when you all you got is a blank seal. There's nothing educational about that. You know, I always wonder if people want to get on the water and be able to see as far as they can see. But they're missing. You know, they're missing what it's all about. There's nothing out there except open space. And, and the environment's right. I don't know why it's so hard to understand that. It's taken me only 30 years to learn how my lifetime. But it, it, if we could teach the kids about the environment early and what it's about, about the trees and the, and, the, and, the, and the critters that live in the trees and that the food chain starts there, maybe they can appreciate it. Thank you.